Hello, good morning and welcome everyone. Dear students, today we will study English Comprehension Skills, page 28. In the previous class, we have studied Comprehension Skills, Questions and Answers, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Today, we will study Questions and Answers, 5th, 6th and 7th, for page 28. Comprehension means ability to understand something and skills means ability to do something so here we go fifth question what did the fox do look at the picture you can easily guess it what did the fox do the fox fluttered the crow to sing and dance one at a time so that he can get the piece of bread from the crow's Big. What did the fox do? When the piece of bread fell down from the crow's beak, suddenly the fox picked up the piece of bread and walked away. What did the fox do? The fox picked up the piece of bread and walked away. Now sixth question, why did the fox tell the crow to sing? Why did the fox tell the crow to sing? Look at the picture. Actually the fox was very hungry and he was wandering for food. Suddenly he saw a crow sitting on a branch of a tree with a piece of bread in its Big. The fox thought of a plan and the plan was to flutter the crow in order to get the piece of bread. How he will get the piece of bread? He thought of a plan. The fox fluttered the crow to sing and dance one at a time so that the piece of bread will fall down and he will get the piece of bread. So the fox wanted the crow to sing so that he will get the piece of bread. Why did the fox tell the crow to sing? The fox told the crow to sing because he wanted the piece of bread. Bread. Why did the fox tell the crow to sing? The fox told the crow to sing because he wanted the piece of bread. Seventh question Was the crow foolish or clever? Can you guess? Was the crow foolish or clever? First, the crow sang, but the bread didn't fall down. Secondly, the crow sang and danced one at a time, and suddenly the piece of bread fell down. Actually, the crow is foolish. The crow was flattered by the fox. Was the crow foolish or clever? The crow was foolish. Dear students, you have to study well questions and answers 5th, 6th and 7th properly. And write one time in English fair book and one time in homework book. You have to write in good handwriting. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.